Hello, I'm here in the crash landing map pack as you can see in the di distance there and I found out a way how you can make a fairly early game sieve, well out of sieve. Um, it's not super efficient, it's not super cheap, but it's a lot cheaper than making the um, nerfed autonomous activators. I'm not even sure you can make them, I, you need a, a printed circuit board to make a machine to make a printed circuit board, so I'm not sure. You probably can, but it's 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 quite complex. Uh, but yeah, so to make this uh, you need 4 glass, 34 iron, 55 planks, 3 string, 3 redstone and 14 cobblestone. And this is for the whole thing, the whole uh, machinery and all, all the blocks around it. And then if you give it uh, dust, then it's going to produce items for you. Like I said, it's not super efficient and as you can see, it's not super, super cheap. You need almost, well, a bit more than a stack of iron and you also need 14 cobblestone. Those parts are probably the, the worst ones. So, well, you need 4 glass as well. So, quite a bit, but like I said, compared to the autonomous activator, it's nothing. Um, so what we want to do is first of all craft two, oops, sorry, two heavy weighted pressure plates, and we want to put those there, and then that, and the iron like so, or well, two of them, and the glass here. And now you know which mod we're going to use. It's this factor manager. So we're using some inventory cables here. We don't need the cables themselves because we're not going to use a manager. We're just going to use the separate blocks. And um, yeah, so I only need three of those. The rest will, will be spares. So we need three different blocks. And um, well, to do that, we're going to need some sticks. So uh, there you go. And we need an iron pickaxe. And then we can craft a, uh, a bow as well, because we need that. Like that. And then we combine the bow with redstone and half of the cobblestone, like that for the dispenser. The dispenser and the pickaxe together with one of the cables gives us the blockade, which is one of the blocks we're going to use. Then what we need is um, to create a, a dropper and then we're going to create five hoppers. So here's where most of the plank and especially the iron cost comes in. So we need five of them. Uh, three of them will be used for b for the recipes, whereas two will be used in the actual build. Uh, so now we can craft them, oops, sorry, like that. And now what we want to do is inventory cable together with a hopper gives us a into a relay and then we can combine the last one with two hoppers and then the dropper to make an item valve. Then what we want to do is simply create a chest here and that's for, for our output. It's actually included in the in the ingredients cost the output chest and uh, that's our component. So we need to see uh, sieve itself, two hoppers, an inventory relay, a chest, three uh, planks well, that can be replaced by any other building material, but uh, it can't be dust because it falls down and then planks is the cheapest you can get. Um, item valve, one item valve and one blockade. And when you craft all of this, you get five inventory cables uh, and three sticks uh, spare that you, well, you had to craft them. Right, so what we want to do is um, we can start with placing the sieve here. And what we're going to use is the fact that the block gate uh, when it's placing blocks, uh, it's going to try to right-click things to place them, and therefore it's going to try to right-click the sieve. Um, let's do like that and like that. So it's going to be facing here, one block uh, away. If we would do uh, sorry that, then it would actually right-click itself, therefore placing the block. However, if we do it like that, it would normally place it anyways if there's an item here, well a block that it can click on, but now it clicks on the sieve and fails to place the block. The block will therefore be dropped because it has no clue where to put it, and therefore we have a hopper here picking it all up, the uh, block goes into the inventory relay so it can go up again, or well the, the inventory relay links these together so the hopper is directly putting it into the blockade, which is what's triggering it in the first place. So the hopper is basically the engine here uh, con controlling the loop and then we simply just need to pick up the results. How do we do this? Well, first of all, we, we need to block this so the items don't uh, go away. So, uh, something like this. 
on those ends like that and then I'm going to put a, a hopper there uh, since I'm in creative I'm, I'm, I'm keeping the items but yeah um, and then we put the item valve there and then we put the chest there and the reason why this works is because um, the item valve will pick up the items it will actually reach these items but since the hopper can pick them up right away uh, away and the normal item valve has to wait for it to be uh, well, before a player can pick them up. So if I drop an item here, I can't pick it up right away. And the normal item valve will wait for that. A hopper won't, and also uh, the rapid item valve won't wait for that. So you can't use that one. You need the basic one. Uh, so it waits for that, so it won't pick up the items going there, but it will pick up all the items staying in this lot here. Uh, the hopper here is what's controlling it. It's dragging items out of the item valves and therefore picking them up, putting them into the chest there. So now the only thing I need to do is start it by doing that. And as you can see, it's not super efficient there, but it goes through them oops, quite quickly anyways. But like I said, not super efficient. You can add more of these units here on the sides uh, without a problem. So you just need another hopper, another blockade, and another inventory relay on here, and one here. And I guess you can also Maybe not. No, you can't, can't have one on top. You can put this on top though, uh, so you just place it further up in the air instead. Or even, you can even place this one on, on here. The reason why I have it here is so we don't need as many materials to, as walls. So if you do that, you can also have one blockade on this side as well. Or you can just have multiple sieves. So as you can see, it's just walking its way through here. It's dropping these all the time because it tries to place them, but when it right, right click to place it, because it's not holding shift, it's going to right click the sieve instead. They go down into hopper, and the hopper is just feeding the uh, dust into the uh, inventory relay, and therefore into the blockade, and it just goes around like that. And th these are not going up there, it's just bouncing up there before it's picking, picking them all up. One thing to note is, when you just have one dust left, that's going to stay in the sieve because then there you have no uh, blocks that actually go around here. Uh, and in the very end, when you have one like one left or something like that, it will slow down a bit. Uh, when you have one extra, so when you have two pieces left, because then you only have one to loop around here. The hopper can actually uh, put one and then catch it, put one, catch it, put one, catch it. So it, I think it. I think it can work with two at a time. Maybe three actually helped. And if that's the case, then it will actually do that as long as you have that many items. So you don't have to bother about anything here. And as you can see, not super efficient, but we still have a bit of things here. And it will just continue as long as you give it dust. And dust is, of course, super easy to come by in this map. So that's a way to do it. Um, a bit more complex than just uh, having autonomous activated, but it's much cheaper. It's not super efficient, but it does the trick. And yeah, there's that. Bye-bye.